Well, the person that they were after has been linked to what Orange County deputies are calling a gang feud tied to murders as well as illegal guns, putting innocent families in danger. They get at least three murders and more than a half dozen shootings where people were injured behind all of this, according to investigators. And most of it playing out in the middle of places like where I'm standing, residential neighborhoods where innocent people are being caught in the middle. You are here because you have been arrested for one, two, three, four, five counts of attempted second degree murder. The subject of today's video is an Orlando demon who's the leader of a crew that reigned terror across the city of Orlando. If he had a problem with you, he would come after you, even if you are a blood relative. Despite making it big as a rap artist, he was willing to throw it all away if it meant getting even with his ops. The subject of today's video is none other than Glock 9, and today we're going to be telling his story. But before we get into the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Glock 9, whose real name is Jaquavius Denard Smith, was born on May 1st, 2000. He grew up in one of the roughest areas of Orlando, Florida called Mercy Drive. He's been acting wild since a young age. He stole his mom's car for the first time at just the age of 11, and he would eventually start stealing random people's cars at age 14. His young age wouldn't matter as he would commit as much crime as a seasoned pro. In fact, he went to jail 12 times before the age of 18 for various crimes such as stealing cars and illegal possession of firearms. Eventually, Glock and I would catch his first super serious charge at 15 years old. On September 2nd, 2015, Glock 9 was arrested in connection to a shooting that left another teen hospitalized. Glock 9 was 15 years old at the time. On that day, he and a 17-year-old boy were on the patio of a house in Pine Hills when Glock 9 accidentally shot him. Investigators said the two initially told them that they didn't know how the teen was shot. The injured teen was taken to Orlando Regional Medical Center, where he was reported to be stable. Glock 9 was charged with aggravated battery with a firearm, an unlawful discharge of a firearm, and also committed a violation of probation for trespassing. He was taken to the Orange Regional Juvenile Detention Center, but was eventually released. Glock 9 is one of the leaders and members of a gang called AFNF. They operate out of the Mercy Drive area of Orlando. They primarily beef with the 438 gang, made famous by the rapper Hot Boy. The 438 gang primarily operates out of the Silver Star Road area of Orlando. AFNF also beefs with another group called CKN, made popular by the rapper Cutem Reese. CKN and 438 are closely tied together. Lastly, AFNF beefs with a gang called LPB, made famous by the rapper LPB Pooty. Glock 9, Hotboy, and Pooty started off cool with each other, but eventually things went left. Hotboy claims that the beef started because Glock 9 was jealous of him, but his side of the story has never been officially confirmed. Regardless, their feud would lead to a bloody gang war that wreaked havoc all across the city of Orlando. A RICO investigation announced last year released the inner details of the beef between AFNF and 438. According to investigators, the feud between AFNF and 438 resulted in over 30 shootings and several homicides. Tragically, four innocent bystanders were killed as a result of this beef, including a three-year-old boy. LPB and 438 were initially clicked up against AFNF, but in recent months, both crews have started beef with each other as well. After going back and forth on songs and on social media, AFNF's beef with 438, CKN, and LPB would eventually lead to bloodshed. One of the most notable incidents in this war was the death of an LPB member by the name of Wolf Muma. On April 14, 2020, Sheriff's Office deputies responded to a report of shots fired at the Stony Brook South Subdivision in Davenport. When deputies arrived, they believed a shooting might have occurred, but cannot locate any victims. The Orange County Sheriff's Office later contacted the Osakala Sheriff's Office after a shooting victim had been dropped off at Dr. Phillips Hospital. The victim was later identified as 20-year-old Wolf Muma, who later was pronounced dead from his injuries. 
with Mumo was close with both Pootie and Hot Boy. In fact, Hot Boy's biggest song to date, called Don't Need Time, is a memorial to Wolf Luma. A member of Glock 9's crew named AFNF Meat Mo, whose real name was Demetrius Cox, was arrested after deputies were able to link him to the murder. Shortly after this, Wolf Luma's memorial would be held and something horrific would happen there. On April 25th, 2020, a gathering was being held after the funeral of Wolf Luma. As people gathered around, gunfire broke out. At about 11.19 p.m., police responded to a report of shots fired in the area. Four people, including LPB Pudi, were shot. Tragically, an innocent football player signed to play football at Louisville named Dexter Rents was shot and killed in this incident. Police believe that he was not the intended target. An AFNF member by the name of Baby Joker was listed as a suspect in this attack. As the war in Orlando loomed on, Glock 9 would lose one of his closest friends in a failed assassination attempt on one of their ops. Vanshawn Sands, described by authorities as second in command in the 438 gang, had just stepped out of his car on July 7th, 2020, outside a home in Pine Hills, when he saw Jermaine Ingram Jr. and Baby Joker, real name Jeremiah Robinson, drive up in a Dodge Challenger. A passenger window rolled down and they started shooting. Sands grabbed a rifle from his car and returned fire, striking Baby Joker in the back of the head. Baby Joker died days later. Sands wasn't charged with murder due to it being self-defense, but he did face charges for illegal possession of a firearm by a felon. Following this incident, members of 438 would diss Baby Joker in songs and on social media and mock him for dying while trying to do a drill. Yo, let's step around down and he died. How you feeling, G? Yo, let's step around down and he died. How you feeling, G? You need to go dig his dog up. Go dig up his doggy. Go dig up the doggy like a bone. With dead ass. Go dig his doggy up. As I mentioned earlier in the video, one of the main groups AFNF beefs with is CKN. The most famous member of CKN is a rapper named Cut'em Reese. The police believe that AFNF has tried to take Reese's life five different times. However, I'm only going to talk about the incident Glock 9 was directly involved in. The crazy thing about this is that Glock 9 and Reese are blood cousins. On July 23rd, 2020, Orlando police received a call from a woman claiming that her house was shot up. Once officers arrived at the house, they noticed shell casings everywhere. Bullet holes were observed throughout the front of the house. Five people were inside of the house at the time it was being shot up, but luckily no one was injured. The house turned out to be the home of Cutham Reese, and authorities believe that he was the intended target. After interviewing Reese's mother, the police discovered that Reese was warned by someone that Glock 9 was coming after him. One of the people in the home witnessed the shooting and identified Glock 9 as one of the gunmen. Based on this testimony, Glock 9 was charged with five counts of attempted murder for this incident. Following the attempted murder of Cutham Reese, the retaliation was swift. The very next day, Glock 9's aunt's house was shot up. It was believed that Glock 9 may have been living there at the time, however he wasn't there when it was shot up. His ops were still out for blood, and next time they would go after him in a public place for the whole world to see. On October 8th, 2020, Orlando Police Department officers responded to a shots fired call at the mall at Millennia. Orlando Police Department officers who were already inside the mall at Millennia at the time of the shooting responded and made contact with the victims within seconds of receiving the emergency call. The victims were identified as Devontae Smith, Robert Cooks, Keith Falconer-Williams, and Glock 9. The whole incident was caught on camera. Three suspects were observed walking throughout the mall shopping, eventually exiting and entering a white BMW. The owner of the vehicle was determined to be a man named Angel Morales. Morales was seen entering the back passenger seat of the vehicle. Images of Morales and the three other suspects were observed by Orange County Sheriff's Office agents and they positively identified the shooter as Trayvon Graham and another member of the group as Joshua Holder. 
The officers were able to positively identify these two suspects from previous investigations and arrests. Trayvon Graham and Joshua Holder are documented 438 gang members. After reviewing the video, it was clear that Morales, Graham, and Holder were acting together when they each entered the vehicle and circled the parking lot waiting for Glock 9 and his crew to exit the mall. Holder was observed entering the driver's door and taking control of the vehicle while Graham entered and sat in the front right passenger seat. Holder drove around the mall parking lot for approximately 16 minutes before they found Glock 9's vehicle parked. Once found, Holder eventually stopped circling the area and parked in a parking spot positioned so that Glock 9's vehicle and the mall exit were visible at the same time. Holder remained parked this way for approximately 6 minutes until Glock 9 and his crew were seen walking out of the mall. The BMW then stopped, Graham exited the right front passenger door holding a firearm and fired several rounds at Glock 9 and his crew. Several additional citizens were seen in the parking lot running at the sound of gunshots. Graham then entered the vehicle and Holder drove away. Graham, Holder, and Morales were all charged with first degree attempted murder. Glock 9 was lucky to survive this incident. As I mentioned earlier, AFNF Meat Mo, real name Demetrius Cox, was charged with the murder of Wolf Luma. Eventually, Meat Mo would be released on $200,000 bail. Just hours after being released from prison, Meat Mo would tragically lose his life. On March 7th, 2021, Orlando PD received a call for shots fired. When police arrived, Meat Mo was found on the scene and declared dead at just 21 years old. Meat Mo was one of Glock 9's closest friends, and his death would leave Glock 9 devastated. When fighting any type of war, one of the main things you need is money. The $2 million record deal he signed with Cash Money Records in 2018 wasn't enough for him, so eventually, he would need to resort to other things to make money. On July 13, 2021, Glock 9 pled guilty to identity theft charges. Glock 9 fraudulently applied for and received $10,000 in PPP loans that were meant to aid struggling businesses in the pandemic. The Orange County Sheriff's Department had wiretapped his Instagram and were able to see that he sent the loan application to an acquaintance. He took the name, social security number, and address of a person to apply for a PPP loan and open a fraudulent bank account. Eventually, Glock 9 was officially arrested and brought into custody on RICO charges. Him and numerous members of AFNF and 438 were taken down by prosecutors in a sting called Operation X-Force. Ultimately, he was sentenced to seven years in a federal prison after pleading guilty to three weapons charges. Good news for him, though, is that the five attempted murder charges he was facing were recently dropped. Let me know what you guys think of this situation in the comment section, and please be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.